SmackDown vs. Raw 2011 was the first wrestling game to introduce an iconic game mode still around today, Universe Mode. I am combining the unpredictable nature of this game mode with a booker familiar to this channel, ChatGPT. We are placing the responsibility of booking each show week to week on this AI engine and sending it down the road to WrestleMania. Things will constantly be shaken up by the happenings of the universe, so ChatGPT will have to adjust their plans each week. This is a big one today, so let's get right into it. We start at the Royal Rumble and a US title match between Evan Bourne and Sheamus. Sheamus attacks Evan Bourne before the match, but is unable to get an easy victory as Bourne kicks out and continues to fight. Eventually, Sheamus is able to keep Bourne down for the three count. Intercontinental title match, Kofi Kingston and Christian. These two put on a phenomenal match that saw both competitors carry momentum at crucial points in the contest. In the end, Christian surprised Kofi with a lightning fast power slam to secure the victory in the Intercontinental Championship. After the match, Cody Rhodes took out both men. Alicia Fox defended her Divas Championship against Melina and Gail Kim. Fox aimed to gain an advantage and continue her title run by running in on Gail Kim from behind. Melina didn't let anything get too far from that initial attack though, and would quickly take control. Temporary alliances fell apart just as quickly as they were formed, and Alicia Fox walked away still the Divas Champion after an action-packed triple threat. World Heavyweight Championship Fatal 4-Way Match The Undertaker came into this match with an extremely tall task and extremely low odds to retain his championship. Ray was the World Champion earlier in the year, and Big Show has been a thorn in the champ's side for months but if anyone could defy the odds, it's the dead man. And in an exciting, fast-paced Fatal 4-Way, each of the contenders made a case for their potential championship reign, and The Undertaker showed why he is the champion to begin with. However, it was The Big Show who was able to overcome the slim odds of victory and walk out of the Royal Rumble as the new World Heavyweight Champion. Triple H challenging Randy Orton for the WWE title. Randy Orton had just retained his WWE Championship against Triple H the month prior in a grueling TLC match. To nobody's surprise, Triple H has managed another shot at the championship. These two were no strangers to one another, and it was apparent here in this match. Randy Orton was able to fend off the cerebral assassin for months, but eventually, Orton gave in to the game, and a new WWE Champion was crowned. It's time for the Royal Rumble match. Edge and John Morrison started out the match, and we saw competitor after competitor fall to the floor, over the top rope, and eliminated out of the match. Their aspirations and dreams of headlining WrestleMania are over. We saw the final two as Luke Gallows and David Hart Smith, where David Hart Smith takes home the victory and earns himself a shot at the world champion at WrestleMania. Who'd have thought it'd be David Hart Smith? Coming into Raw, we've got the Heartbreak Kid Shawn Michaels and Chris Jericho in one-on-one -on -one competition. Shawn Michaels defeats Jericho, and Michaels extends his hand as a sign of respect, but Jericho slaps the hand away. Sheamus dominated Tyson Kidd in the next match, and Evan Bourne came out to stop an excessive beating from Sheamus. The main event of Raw features the Royal Rumble winner, where Batista attacks David Hart Smith before the match. D.H. Smith surprisingly fights back and makes it interesting, but you can tell the damage has been done. Batista believes Smith doesn't deserve the WrestleMania title match and his Royal Rumble win was a fluke. Over on SmackDown, we see Cody Rhodes and Shelton Benjamin defeat Matt Hardy and Kofi Kingston. All men are competing to become a new contender for Christian's Intercontinental title. The chosen one, Drew McIntyre, defeats Finley handedly in one on one contest. And Christian defeats Rey Mysterio in singles competition. Cody Rhodes again makes an appearance and stares down Christian, hinting that maybe he will be the one to challenge for the Intercontinental title. Jack Swagger and The Undertaker compete in a steel cage match match to determine the number one contender for Big Show's World Heavyweight title. Both men deal plenty of damage, but it is The Undertaker who gets the better of swagger in this contest. Back on Raw, Tyson Kidd and Ted DiBiase taking on John Cena and John Morrison. The unlikely duo of Morrison and Cena pick up the tag team victory. Mark Henry and Edge in one-on-one -on -one competition, and Edge didn't hesitate to start the fight here tonight as he ran in on Mark Henry, caught the world's strongest man off guard, and picked up the win. Sheamus and Ezekiel Jackson taking on Evan Bourne and Yoshitatsu. Sheamus met the contender to his United States title in the ring, but the powerhouse team of Sheamus and Ezekiel Jackson was too much for Tatsu and Bourne to overcome. Main event time, David Hart Smith versus Batista in a no DQ match. Batista looked to gain an early advantage, but Smith was ready and did not make it easy for the animal. It was a brutal no DQ match, but when the dust had settled, Batista had gotten the better of the Royal Rumble winner, and whether or not D.H. Smith was worthy to compete in the main event was now in question. 
over on SmackDown, we see Jack Swagger and Dolph Ziggler get the convincing victory over Rey Mysterio and Kofi Kingston as they near the Elimination Chamber. Vance Archer taking on Kane. In a battle of big men, it is Kane who comes out on top. Christian taking on Cody Rhodes. There's been a lot of tension between the Intercontinental Champion and the current number one contender, and they finally had the chance to go after one another in the ring. While this was a non-title contest, it was a crucial meeting point between the two stars. However, we are without a definitive victor, as the match ended in a countout after the two insisted they take their fight outside. SmackDown's main event featured the first side of the new World Heavyweight Champion, The Big Show, as he took on his number one contender, The Dead Man, in a tables match. And you know, It'd be hard for anybody to win this match over the Phenom considering this black magic he was pulling here. The Undertaker makes a statement three weeks before the pay-per-view. Kicking off Raw, we've got the Royal Rumble winner David Hart Smith taking on the world's strongest man, Mark Henry. Smith is determined to prove himself as a legitimate singles competitor in this one-on-one -on -one contest, and he does so by picking up a crucial victory. Sheamus versus Evan Bourne. These two rivals have finally collided in a one-on-one -on -one contest on Monday Night Raw. The power of Sheamus, the United States Champion, was on full display, as was Evan Bourne's resiliency and quickness. In this competitive match, we saw the United States Champion emerge victorious, although Victory wasn't enough for Sheamus as he attacked Bourne with a chair post-match. Melina and Gail Kim met for a number one contenders match to take on Alicia Fox. Gail Kim secures the victory and earns a title shot at the pay-per-view. Main event time, triple threat, Batista, Edge, and Shawn Michaels. This match was spontaneously changed to a false count anywhere triple threat, and it was originally held by these veterans to determine the true number one contender in place of David Hart Smith. As you may expect, the three of these guys would put on quite the show, and it was the showstopper who came out on top, giving the heartbreak kid a great case as number one contender. It's time for SmackDown. Rey Mysterio taking on Dolph Ziggler. Jack Swagger came to the ring in support of Dolph Ziggler just before the match began, which seemed to shake Rey Mysterio up a bit, as evidenced by Dolph Ziggler's hot start. However, Rey didn't back down, and he never makes things easy for anyone. The fight continued on until Dolph Ziggler forced Rey to tap out from a sleeper hold. Christian and Kofi Kingston taking on Cody Rhodes and Vance Archer in this next match. Christian and his top contender Cody Rhodes find themselves sharing the ring yet again, this time in a tag match. There were other factors at play, but these two had a clear focus of getting after one another. Cody and Vance Archer tried to pull whatever they could to gain an advantage. Ultimately, Christian and Kofi put on a show. Next matchup, Triple Threat, Kane, Drew McIntyre, and Jack Swagger. This was a clash of powerful superstars all looking to launch themselves further amongst the ranks. Jack Swagger has an impressive resume, Drew McIntyre is a young but promising talent, and Kane is just a fucking menace who hurts people, but also cunning as shown by his victory here. Main event time on SmackDown, The Undertaker versus CM Punk of all people. The Undertaker was not expecting CM Punk as his opponent, as Punk had not been seen for some time. But The Undertaker is a savvy veteran who can adjust on the fly. CM Punk is not your average competitor though, and the straight edge superstar did not hesitate to come at the dead man with intensity. With the moral support of the champion at his side, CM Punk shocked the crowd and defeated The Undertaker in one-on-one -on -one contest. The following Monday Night Raw, we see John Cena and John Morrison pick up a huge tag team victory over the champions. Next matchup, Sheamus versus William Regal, and here the United States Champion shows up in a dominating fashion. David Hart Smith taking on Shawn Michaels. David Hart Smith is looking to prove his main event status by taking on the Heartbreak Kid in singles competition. Defeating the showstopper is no easy feat for anybody, so a victory here would do wonders in Smith's pursuit of respect. The son of the British Bulldog went toe-to-toe -to -toe with one of the best to ever do it, and even though things weren't always looking great for him here, Smith was able to come away with the upset victory. Batista took issue with this and came out to confront Smith, however, that was when the WWE Champion Triple H made his appearance for the Raw main event. David Hart Smith decided to stay ringside for this one-on-one -on -one contest between the game and the animal, giving him a closer look at the man who has been criticizing him for weeks, as well as the champion in which he may be challenging come WrestleMania. Batista and Triple H know each other very well, and if Batista can get a clean victory victory over the champion, that may launch him into the WWE title picture regardless of who won the Royal Rumble. This was a brutal contest that certainly lived up to the expectations these two have established for themselves, and this clash finally came to an end after Batista defeated the game. The final SmackDown before the Elimination Chamber opens up with a triple threat 
to determine the next challenger for the Intercontinental title after the Elimination Chambers clash between Cody Rhodes and Christian. Shelton Benjamin, Kofi Kingston, and Matt Hardy, three established talents all going after one another. Though Cody Rhodes felt it was necessary to come out and get involved with the match, despite this having nothing to do with his title match. 30 minutes of chaos had passed, and Shelton Benjamin was eventually able to emerge victorious, but he was also disrespected by Matt Hardy post-match. Jack Swagger and Dolph Ziggler topple crime time in a tag team contest. Main event time, the Brothers of Destruction were reunited to take on the Straight Edge Society. CM Punk had picked up a shocking win over The Undertaker last week, and Big Show was looking to have more damage dealt to his opponent at the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view. The Straight Edge Society arrived focused, and they handled business as they isolated Kane and picked up the victory. It's time for the Elimination Chamber. To open up the show, the tag team titles were on the line in this interbranded match. Dolph Ziggler and Jack Swagger have been on a roll and have been a menace on SmackDown as of late, and Jericho and The Miz have held on to the titles for quite some time. Ziggler and Swagger took control early, but the champs were not going to roll over for them. Rey Mysterio's got a bone to pick with Ziggler and Swagger and decided to get involved here, but ultimately, new tag team champions were crowned after Ziggler and Swagger secured the victory. Gail Kim was able to end Alicia Fox's reign as Divas Champion, and the Intercontinental title was on the line here as Cody Rhodes and Christian finally had free reign to let loose on one another to determine a definitive champion. These two have constantly been facing off in the ring, but for one reason or another a decisive victory is yet to come about between these two. However, that is going to change here. No disqualifications, no countouts, no excuses. False count anywhere. These two left it all in this arena as they both pushed themselves beyond their own breaking points. But there could only be one champion, and that champion emerged as Cody Rhodes, who had finally captured the Intercontinental title. Batista was set to clash with the Royal Rumble winner David Hart Smith trapped in a steel cage. Batista still doesn't believe Smith deserves to headline WrestleMania, and with his back against the wall, David Hart Smith had no choice but to put his WrestleMania title match on the line to shut the animal up. Smith held nothing back, but Batista is not known as the animal for no reason. Batista ultimately ended up hitting the Batista bomb and had a clear path to victory, but miraculously, David Hart Smith sprung to life to pull Batista down to the canvas. Smith hit a big back suplex and got his ass out of that cage. What an upset. SmackDown's main event of the night, Big Show defends his World Heavyweight Championship in a triple threat against the former champion The Undertaker and a conniving CM Punk. While the rematch between Big Show and The Undertaker was highly anticipated, the champ was not expecting to have to worry about CM Punk in this title match as well. All three superstars had moments where they could have captured the championship, and the match had taken its toll on everybody. In an extremely volatile situation, CM Punk walked away from the match as the World Heavyweight Champion. Tonight's main event is an Elimination Chamber match for the WWE Championship, where John Cena and Shawn Michaels start us off in this unforgiving contest. Brief alliances came and went, and it's all about survival in this match. Triple H has got the odds stacked against him, but this would not be the first time he defied the odds in an Elimination Chamber. Before long, all competitors were in the ring, and the number of participants would begin to fall. Triple H was eliminated, meaning we were guaranteed a new WWE Champion. After the smoke cleared, it was Edge to be the final man standing and the new WWE Champion. The entire landscape of the WWE has changed just a month before WrestleMania. And if you're enjoying this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and let me know what kind of situations you'd want to see ChatGPT book for next time. Thanks. The first Raw after the Elimination Chamber. Former Tag Team Champions Miz and Chris Jericho set to face off to determine who is to blame for their loss at the Elimination Chamber. Chris Jericho, however, found an alternate entry path to Miz during Y2J's entrance and attacked him from behind. John Cena and John Morrison take it on MVP and Mark Henry. The duo of Cena and Morrison continue to pick up momentum after a hard-fought victory. The technical acumen of the United States Champion Sheamus was put to the test in a submission match against Tyson Kidd, but ultimately, he was able to make Tyson Kidd submit. An embarrassed Batista on the heels of his loss to David Hart Smith at Elimination Chambers still aiming to insert himself into the the WrestleMania title picture. Batista challenged Triple H for the former champion's rematch clause, and Triple H accepted, and the battle ensued for the Raw main event. Triple H was able to emerge victorious, just adding more questions around the WWE Championship. Over on SmackDown, JTG challenged Vance Archer in a losing effort, and I'm not sure if John Cena knows John Morrison is still tagging with R-Truth, but the Raw duo came over to SmackDown to challenge the champs to a non-title table tag team match. Ziggler and Swagger are feeling good coming off their big victory at the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view and carrying plenty of momentum. This was an exciting table match that saw John Morrison get slammed through the table. 
leaving him to reconsider if R-Truth is the correct partner. The new Intercontinental Champion Cody Rhodes is set to go one-on-one -on -one against Matt Hardy, one of the competitors with their eyes on the Intercontinental Championship. However, Cody's able to handle business against a potential contender here. In the main event, the World Heavyweight Champion CM Punk had plans of celebrating his pay-per-view victory this evening. However, Kane had a different idea. Kane quickly brought the fight to the new champion, but it wasn't long before CM Punk was able to regain control of the bout and end SmackDown with his hand raised in victory. The next Raw opens up with a triple threat. Evan Bourne has had issues with the United States Champion Sheamus for over a month, but his status as number one contender for the US title is at stake in this match against Ezekiel Jackson and Zack Ryder, and he couldn't risk losing this opportunity. Bourne was flying around the ring, however Jackson and Ryder still got their offense in as well. When it was all said and done, it was Evan Bourne who was still able to call himself the number one contender for Sheamus' US title. John Cena did not appreciate John Morrison tagging with R-Truth on SmackDown, so ChatGPT declared that Cena and R-Truth face off to determine who will be the sole partner of John Morrison moving forward. It was a heated back and forth contest, but from now on, John Morrison's only tag partner will be John Cena. The former tag champs Miz and Jericho are not done with one another, this time a tag team contest where the two have found new partners to fight alongside them. Jericho has recruited the sly William Regal and the Miz is teaming with the enigmatic Yoshi Tatsu. Jericho came away on top in their last encounter, but that was after taking a cheap shot on The Miz. However, in this encounter, it was The Miz and Yoshitatsu standing tall. A huge six-man tag team match headlined the night. D-Generation X along with David Hart Smith taking on the team of the WWE Champion Edge, Randy Orton, and Batista. Batista had been rather unstable as of late due to his obsessive anger over David Hart Smith's Royal Rumble victory, and Edge is looking at two potential WrestleMania challengers in Triple H and David Hart Smith. It was Randy Orton, though, who provided a spark and hit a big RKO to give his team a huge victory to end the night. Over on SmackDown, Shelton Benjamin and Kofi Kingston engaged in a one-on-one -on -one contest to establish some footing in the Intercontinental title picture. After a hard-fought match, it was Kofi Kingston to come out on top and gain some attention as we approach WrestleMania. Kane and The Undertaker set their sights on the World Heavyweight Champion CM Punk and his backup Luke Gallows once more, this time without Big Show. CM Punk has been on the winning side of most of his encounters recently, however the Straight Edge Society takes the loss here. The main event of SmackDown features two men who have had some bad blood between one another for some time, but had not had the proper opportunity to face one another in the ring. Rey Mysterio and Jack Swagger, both with main event aspirations, battle it out to end the night. Jack Swagger came out to the ring alone here, and that may have proved to be the difference maker as Rey was able to focus on just one opponent and gain the victory in this main event match. The final week before WrestleMania, John Morrison and John Cena gain tag team title contention after a victory over William Regal and Vladimir Kozlov. We've got two co-main events on this Raw, the first being Triple H taking on Batista in a submission match. The unhinged animal took charge and brought the fight to the game. Batista has a ton of volatile relationships in front of him, and the tensions with Triple H have risen to the point of this submission match. While the two have traded victories already, the animal was looking to redeem himself with a dominating victory, but it was Triple H who was able to turn the tables and gain the submission victory after all. And to end the night, heading into WrestleMania, the Viper scored the pin in last week's six-man tag team match, and David Hart Smith still finds himself not being taken seriously. Smith has absolutely been on his game as of late, and is making his case as a main eventer with a victory over Randy Orton. On SmackDown, we've got Shelton Benjamin inserting himself into WrestleMania with a victory over Drew McIntyre. Up next, the former Intercontinental Champion Christian will have to take on Dolph Ziggler who has been racking up serious momentum the last six weeks. While the tag team champion put on a good show, it was Christian who had his hand raised in victory. A frustrated straight edge society wasted no time in bringing the fight in this tag team match. They were all over MVP and Mark Henry until an interruption to the match occurred from which we can only guess who was responsible. Regardless, Punk and Gallows came away with the victory. And in the main event, Jack Swagger, Big Show, and The Undertaker compete in a triple threat match confined within a steel cage to determine who will challenge C CM Punk at WrestleMania. All three men have had considerable pushes throughout the year including multiple world title reigns, but there could only be one winner here. After all of the chaos, The Undertaker was able to overcome the challenge and walk away from the steel cage and into a WrestleMania title match.
We have made it all the way to WrestleMania. A huge match card is in store for this evening. To open up, we've got Evan Bourne and Sheamus for the US title. Sheamus aims to continue his dominant reign as United States Champion, while Evan Bourne aims to end Sheamus' bully-like run on Raw. There hasn't been anyone who has been able to step up to Sheamus yet, and after another dominating victory, it seems that will continue for the foreseeable future. John Cena and John Morrison challenge Dolph Ziggler and Jack Swagger for the Tag Team Championships. It was a monumental clash featuring four talented superstars, but in the end, Big Match John and Big Match John were able to walk away with the victory, crowning new tag team champions. Gail Kim defends her Divas Championship against Melina. ChatGPT didn't feature the ladies a whole lot on this road to WrestleMania, but that didn't stop Gail Kim and Melina from putting on a great match at this showcase of Immortals. In the end, it was Melina with her hand raised in victory. Cody Rhodes defends his Intercontinental title in a Falls Count Anywhere Elimination Fatal 4 win against three former Intercontinental Champions in Christian, Kofi Kingston, and Shelton Benjamin. Cody Rhodes was facing a tall task for his first title defense as this match was fast-paced, full of action, and even saw an angry Kane get involved. He just wanted to be included in WrestleMania, poor guy. But I digress. There was a ton of unpredictability in this match, especially with that fifth element dealing out choke slams. Shelton Benjamin would be the first eliminated, and the dominoes began to fall afterwards. Cody would pin Christian, leaving it down to Kofi and Cody. After a long battle, Kofi Kingston was the one to call himself the new Intercontinental Champion. Batista, Triple H in a last man standing match. It was decided by ChatGPT to make the WrestleMania main event a singles match, so that leaves a furious Batista out of the title picture. Batista challenged Triple H to this last man standing match to determine who will get the first shot of the champion after WrestleMania. Triple H accepted the challenge, and this match was made. Batista and Triple H came at one another like two bulls seeing red. Motivated by greatness and propelled by rage, Batista and Triple H had to to take advantage of the spotlight that is WrestleMania. Triple H left Batista a bloody mess as he was able to keep him down for the 10 count. And the AI in this game certainly does not like using finishers to actually finish a match. Unfortunate. The World Heavyweight Champion CM Punk puts his championship on the line against the Dead Man. The Undertaker is defending his perfect WrestleMania record, so something has got to give. Neither man was willing to give up easily. The Undertaker seemed to be taking control of the matchup when he was able to hit old school. But CM Punk knew what was coming next and would be ready. Punk was able to regain control of the match, hitting the Phenom with his signature running bulldog which led to Taker eating a GTS, and it looks like the streak will end. But Taker pushes through, refusing to die, continuing to fight back and finally hitting the Tombstone Piledriver to once again become the World Heavyweight Champion and keep his streak intact. The main event of WrestleMania, David Hart, Smith, and Edge. Who'da thunk it? Not me. Royal Rumble winner and the WWE Champion. A classic tale of the pursuit of championship glory. But for David Hart Smith, this journey has been a pursuit of respect amongst the main event stars as well. David Hart Smith has battled against the likes of Batista, Shawn Michaels, and Randy Orton to prove himself as a justified opponent. But Edge is one of the greatest to ever do it, and he doesn't give a damn about the feel-good story going on. Edge hit the spear and had his WWE title wrapped up, or so he thought. David Hart Smith had fought too hard to get to this point to give up that easy. There was a fire within Smith that was ignited in this moment. With a sudden burst of momentum, he hits a huge power slam and he just might do this thing. However, Edge kicks out. This ain't his first rodeo. The stakes are high, but Edge finally gets some separation and hits another spear. This time, Smith can't kick out. The feel-good story falls short, and David Hart Smith cannot realize his dream. Edge is still champion, and that's how ChatGPT's WrestleMania 26 ends. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Take it easy.